what's up guys how you doing i hope you're great welcome to this tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can geo reference an image within quantum gis so this is my image it's a map of uganda it's a geotiff actually it's not a geotiff it is a jpeg i'm going to geo reference it and then i can convert it into a geotiff so what you need to have so what do you need to have you need to have a scanned image you need to know the coordinate system of that scanned image and then you need to select reference points that you are going to use for your georeferencing. So let's get started. The first thing you should do is to open Quantum GIS and then create a new project and then save the project as any name you wish. So after there you come to plugins, manage and install plugins. And then you come to the georeference agidal and then enable it and then close. So from there you come to raster georeferencer and then that plugin will open. And then from there you click this button and then add your scanned image. As you can see this is a map of Uganda and then this is what I'm going to georeference. So I'll select four points that are all distributed. So my first point will be this one. So I'll use this, this is zero. So when I click here, it'll tell me enter coordinates. So my easting will be 30, and then my nothing will be zero. That is my first point. So I'll select another point, which is here. My nothing is zero. My 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 easting is thirty four. See okay. As you can see, there is a ground control points table that is being updated here, and wh whatever point I add, it is being added onto the point. So after there, I'll add two more points. I'll select this. My easting is thirty four. My y is the latitude which is two, then I'll add one more point. My nothing is two, and then my easting is 30. So I'll use only four points. And then as you can see, the next thing is to set up my parameters that I'm going to use for the transformation. So I'll use a helmet transformation. And then for the resampling method, I'll use nearest neighbor, and then my target coordinate system, because that's why I told you you need to know in which coordinate system is your what is your scanned image. So this is WGS84. Yeah. And then I'll tick this load into JS when done. Actually, when the georeferencing is done, the, the software will go on to create for you a new georeferenced image. So you can select where to save it as you see. And then say save. May I replace it? And then after you, you click OK. After clicking OK, you click this place sign and then you start georeferencing. Yeah. So a pop up will come. Georeferencing is successful. So you, you open the QGIS and then your image is already georeferenced. So once that is done, you need to have a checkup to see whether you have done your georeferencing very well. So, me, what I'm going to do. I'm going to import the map of Uganda and then I see whether it overlays on top of this georeferenced map. So to do that, I'll come to layer, add layer, add vector layer, and then open and then I'll open the Uganda shape file. Yeah, so as you can see, my map has been overlaid and i'm good to go because this is the district map of uganda and then this is my scan map of uganda so uh, these two are lying in the same area so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button thank you